This is tutorial three and we're gonna be looking at creating something very similar to a basic patrolling system. Getting our little box to move from point to point to point. First step is removing these connections. So right click on the black dots that these wires are connected to. Let's go ahead and delete these nodes by left clicking, dragging, selecting both of these nodes and clicking the delete button. Just kidding. But press control Z and notice that if you make any accidents, you can go ahead and undo those. We are actually just gonna left click on the right node and click delete. See, if we're looking at nodes and we have all these actions, maybe we wanted to log five different debug log text. Do we wanna create five different nodes? Not usually, that's gonna be a waste of space. So go ahead and click on assign action task, type in debug log text, or just type in log. Our newest task we add is gonna be the one selected. So go ahead and change the log to whatever text that you choose. So you can see that both of these are running. Select play and you'll see we forgot to connect those nodes. So I'll connect these nodes, stop the game and you'll notice the connections we made are gone. It's just like the rest of the Unity. Anything you're doing while you're playing the game is gonna be deleted. Now let's move on to moving our cube. Delete both those action tasks by clicking the X on the right and then you'll notice that the last action task you have, the X will be actually on your left side now. The upper left hand corner, let's add a new action task. If we type in move to, you can see the three action tasks that we actually want. But let's go ahead and delete that and go all the way down to the movement tab and you can see all the different built in actions that Node Canvas comes with. The one we're gonna select first for an example is just move towards. And you'll see right where my mouse is that it says you self transform. That's not what we want to use. Remember we created this cube to have a nav mesh agent. Click on the X, let's delete that and let's add another action task. The one we're actually looking for is move to target. Instead of saying you self transform, you can see it says you self nav mesh agent. That way this action is taking control of the nav mesh and telling that what to do. We have our node telling it to move somewhere, but we don't have our patrolling points. Click on the hierarchy, go down to 3D object, and let's create a sphere. That way we can have a visual representation of our patrolling points. These steps are purely optional. I'm gonna drop the scale down to 0.25 on the sphere, right click into the project, go to create, up to material, I'm gonna make this material yellow, so if you accidentally forgot to rename it when you created it, go ahead and click on the material, click F2, and name it yellow. Trying to keep things organized, let's go ahead and right click in the project window again, go up to new folder, name that materials. Now let's drag that yellow material we just created into the materials folder. Grab the sphere, open the materials folder, grab that yellow and drag it underneath, add component since we forgot to actually make the material yellow, click on the material. At the top, you'll see albedo and a little white square next to it. Click on that white square and select the color you want. Let's take our sphere and drag it into the spot we want. I'm gonna drag mine into the lower left corner, then I'm gonna click Control D, drag it up into the upper left spot, and you can keep pressing Control D and place all of your patrol points wherever you want. I'm gonna go with just four. Now let's click back on our cube. Now we can start assigning these patrol points. Upper right, we do have the option of adding these variables, but I much prefer to create these variables in our action task. I promise it's a lot easier. Now if we select the action task, we can see that go move to target has a target. Let's go ahead and grab the sphere, want any of the patrol points and drag it into that target. So notice a little black circle. If you select that, you can select these spheres or any object from your scene. Now let's connect these two nodes. Click the little black dot and drag to our go to sphere node. Click play and let's see if it works. Perfect, a little slow, but it's working. Now we have the question of how we're gonna do this for all four of our patrol points. If we click on our node, we can press Control D and duplicate that. But is that how we want to do it? Then we'd have four nodes. But let's hook it up and give it a try. First node done. As you can see, it's going over to the second one. And then it goes back to the first one. 
Let's go ahead and delete that node. Click back on our first node and do another action task. Let's create three more move to targets. Remember the last action is the one that's open. So on this last action, let's put our last patrol point that we want. If you click the little black circle and you don't see what you want to see, you actually have to click the scene tab. Mine was on the assets tab. So let's grab the last patrol point, drag it on there. Now we can click the little eye to pick what action task we want to select. Repeat the same process for the other two or how many action tasks you actually have. When you're finished, go ahead and click play and you can see our character is going to patrol those points over and over and over until your computer dies. If you think your character is going too slow, don't select the component and change the speed as you see I'm doing here, but you need to go to each task and set the speed there. As you can see, it resets to what is inside of the action task every time it hits a new one. And that is how you set up a basic patrolling or waypoint system that'll just keep repeating itself.